This is a short part of a platform level, and the aim is for the player to collect as many coins with two big chests that allow the player to get even more coins when collected. The problem is, is when we play this and we move around as our player, when the player gets to a certain height, they'll just see the treasure chest. And the one on the right hand side as well, we've got the same issue where we'll just walk to it and we'll just find it. Instead, we want to encourage players to go beyond what they can see on the screen and explore that little bit further into our games. So this is what we're going to try and implement today, a way that when we get so far to the edge of the screen, the camera will stop. And if our player decides to go beyond the camera, then the game will choose to go beyond the camera as well. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is take our player, edit its behaviors and remove the scroll too. We don't have many properties with the scroll to unfortunately inside of Construct, so we need to manually use some camera trickery instead. So what we're going to do this by going to our event sheet and just creating two new global variables. The first one's going to be called camera X, and the second one's going to be called, you've guessed it, camera Y. And what we want to do is get our start of layout. And when the layout starts, we're just going to scroll down and we're going to set these values. So camera X is going to equal player for X. And then same again for our camera Y. We're just going to set value camera Y. And this is going to be our player dot Y. Nice and simple so far. We're then going to do a system check. And we're going to do every tick. And we're going to do two actions with this. First one we're going to do is scroll down and we're going to do scroll to X and we're going to set this to camera X. We're also going to do the same thing for camera Y. So we're going to do scroll to Y and again, this is going to be camera Y. Now we need to update these positions where the current player is. So we're just going to do set value. Camera X is going to be player dot X. And then finally, one more time, scroll down and we want to set value of camera Y to player dot Y. And this mimics our scroll to in every single way that we've done before. So if we play it, this will be just like we were playing it before, where the camera follows our player around the screen. Nothing's really changed apart from instead of using a scroll to behavior, we're manually coding it. This gives us a little bit of extra control than what we had before. Let's go to our layout now. So we're going to insert a new object, and this is going to be a sprite. This is going to be called stop top. And for this, I'm literally just going to paint it red and set the opacity down to about 20%. So I can see it, but it's not going to be in the way. And then I'm going to choose where I want the camera to stop. And I want to stop just into the clouds. So you can see the start of the first cloud, but you can't see the treasure chest. So we'll place it about there. I'm also just going to clone this. And I'm going to change this to stop right. I'm going to take my stop right. And I'm going to resize it right down. And I'm going to put it on the right hand side now for this chest. So I want the camera to stop before it gets this far. And in fact, I'm going to give myself a little bit of breathing room. The camera's going to stop here. And if we go past this point, you want to be able to see the treasure chest. So for this, we can do this top, bottom, left and right. Doing it center is a bit more tricky. Um, and it's something I won't be covering in today's video, but definitely top, left, right and down, we will be covering. So inside our event sheet, how do we set this up? So we're going to take our player and we're going to start by comparing its X. We'll do the stop right first. I'm going to check if we are less than stop right X position. So for any reason, if we are less in that X one, so we're on the left of it, so we've not passed into where the chest is, what we're going to do is we're going to take our camera X I'm going to use what's called the clamp function. Now what clamp does is clamp takes the current value of it and if it's outside of a certain range that we set up, 
it puts it back to the highest or lowest value of the range depending on which side of the range you're on. So we need to clamp camera X and the lower value. Now, because we're looking at just the right side, and that's the bit we care about, we don't care what the left value is. So we're just going to set this to minus 1,000, knowing that our game will never allow the player to go to minus 1,000. So we're just setting some arbitrary number we're never going to get to. The upper bound, however, is more important. What we want to do for this one is we want to do stop right dot x. We also want to take away the camera size as well. So to do this, we're going to do minus open bracket original viewpoint width. So this is the size of the camera divided by two. And this means that we stop directly on that right side line. What we're doing is if we're not quite at that side, we're going to stop the camera just before by taking whatever the camera is currently and making sure that its highest value is not going past that stop right. And this only happens if we're less than the stop right. So let's test it. So I'll move my character all the way over to the right and we should stop just where that red line is. And we do indeed. My character or the camera, I should say, is not going past that red line. And the moment I go past that red line, we're now at the chest. And then as I go back in, it stops again. So this is a really, really nice way to hide your secrets. Let's go again for the top one. So the top one's gonna to be really, really similar, but because we're dealing with a minus, we're going slightly the other way, we have to do stuff slightly differently. So we're gonna do compare Y. And instead of less than, we're going to say greater than. And this is stop top dot y. And then this one's going to be very, very similar. So we're going to set value of camera y this time. And use the clamp function. And this is going to be camera's y's current position. Now, our lower band is actually what we're dealing with because the top starts at zero and it works its way down. So we're actually working with the lower band this time. And uh, this would be the same if you do stop left, you'd be working with the lower bound. So it's really important just to get that the right way around. So for this one, it's going to be stop top dot y. And then instead of minusing the viewport, we're going to add it. An original viewport height divided by two. And then finally, we just need one more comma. And then we just need our arbitrary value, a value we're never going to get to. So I'm just going to set it to that. We'll never get to that value, so it doesn't matter. And then we close all our brackets off and hit done. So we run this again. Now my camera is not going past this line. So now if I jump over to here, only if I poke my head above the clouds do I get to this chest. And again, the moment I go back down, the camera is fixed and I don't see any more. Now, these red lines, all we can do with these now is we can click on them and click initially invisible or initially visible and just tick that off, which means we cannot see them. I think I missed that one. There we go. And this means that they're not present in the game anymore. This hides this mystery line to the player so they don't see them. And again, it means that when we're over here, it just looks like a bit of background decoration. Only when the player goes, I wonder what's up there and jump that a little bit further, if I can actually play my own game, then we'll see them actually pop up and their head will pop above the clouds and then they're free to explore this new area. Hopefully you've really enjoyed this video today. If you have, give me a like, subscribe, and let me know what other stuff you'd like to see added to your platform games.